everyone. If you're new here, I'm Sandy, this is Tim. Hello there. And we also travel with a little chihuahua called Pablo. But as you can see from the intro, we have had this van for quite some time, but we've revamped it and you're gonna to wanna to see what's inside. It is a 2004 Mercedes T1N Sprinter 313 CDI long wheelbase. That is a mouthful. Let's check it out. We're here on the outside of the van, and before we get this tour started, I'll just mention to you, we're gonna be doing another episode after this, giving you a rundown of what everything costs. So if we're going a bit fast for you, um, a, especially with things like the Skylight and the Max Air fan, they will be included in the next video and you'll be able to find out how much they cost and where to get them from. So to start with, we'll wait for that car to go past. <laughs> to kick this off on the roof at the front, we've got the light bar, which is amazing. We've got that cheap. Uh, we've got the Max Air fan, then that's followed by a, a ventilation fan, which is also a Max Air fan for the bathroom. We have two solar panels with 800 watts power. We have the skylight and then we have an uh, external aerial for our Wi-Fi. And then we have the, the, the bar at the back with the two reverse lights with a reverse camera on it. Coming back down to the Fiamma, we have the awning on the side. It's a Fiamma F45S awning. And um, we primarily put this on when we first got the van for Sandy because she struggles to open the van, uh, open the awning herself when she's doing solo trips. So when we've got the awning out, it's really easy to put in and out um, for Sandy. We have a side awning for privacy and it gives us a lot of outside space, especially when we're parked up in campsites and we want that privacy as well. So <laughs> moving on, we have, a we have an electric step. Um, this is a Fiamma um, electric step. Pretty handy, especially because, uh, you know, when we park up, sometimes it's quite a drop down to the, down to the floor. We also have this fold out table well, we originally had this in the original design, but we just updated it, made it thinner. It's handy for cooking, sitting out here, putting a laptop on, working out here if you want to. Um, also for that, we've got the 240 volt socket to charge um, the, the, the laptop and for the air fryers and anything else that needs, even a kettle. Sometimes we just sit out here and make tea. Um, USB there, 12, uh, 12 volts. Moving round to the back here, we've got the off-road tyres, BF Goodrich, they're 265, 15, something else's. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're really good, they're really handy, they actually get us out of trouble quite a lot. We're not a four by four, we're a two, uh, a two wheel drive vehicle, rear wheel drive, but we, we are careful where we go, but that, that really helps even just on wet grass. We've got a water fill up here, it's actually gone a bit custardy yellow, we did want a black one. I lost that fight. Moving on, uh, we put, we've updated the side markers on here to the um, to the LED style ones, and they look cooler as well. Coming around the back, we've got the back doors. We've got a reverse camera and re extra reverse lights up there, so we can see at night. We've also got a reverse camera down here, so that we don't crash into things. <laughs> That'd be in one of our older episodes, you know that. We've installed side windows. These are the Eurovision side windows. They flip up much better for when we're parked up, especially when it rains, because if you have the sliding windows, and various other van lifers have told us they've had the sliding windows, they thought they were great. But when it rains, it just goes straight in the, in the window and they would prefer that more. So under here, we have the 240 volt shore power hookup. We've hidden this underneath here. It just keeps it out of the way and we don't want it getting hit or anything when we go around back roads, etc. Um, going back to the main water tank and the main water fill up there, that's an 80 litre water supply. So we have a grey water tank with 40 litre capacity under that. That has uh, that can just be drained out normally, and but it also has an electric drain um, if we need to at any point. On the other side, we, with the water tank, we have an 80 litre water supply and we can upgrade that at another any time when we actually, if we want to go further out. So that's it for the exterior. Also, deadlocks, we have them all the way around. Well, I'm glad Tim did that for you because I tried it a couple of times and I screwed it up a little bit. <laughs> He did miss the Wi-Fi that's at the front of the van, but we'll go through that when we go inside. But let's go through and talk about the cab first, which I'll hand over to Tim. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. 
It didn't squeak that time. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, the door squeaked every other shot and take before this, so. Oh, bit squeaky. In the cab here, we haven't really done much. We've just updated a few things. We've got a UHF um, radio. This is great for when we're out on the bigger roads and we want to get past the road trains. We just call up and say if it's safe to go past, they let us know. We've got a bull horn here. It does what it says. It makes a, it makes a funny noise and it helps get cattle or sheep or anybody that's anything that's on the road that's in the way. It just saves us two in a horn. We can just give them a quick blast and away they go. Our stereo here is actually switchable on the house battery so that we can actually listen to the radio without having to have the ignition on and running down the actual main car battery. Um, that runs off our big system out the back. We have a reverse camera here, it's switchable between the roof and the lower step so that we can actually see the two different aspects because you never know if there's a low branch and you never know if there's something, a rock in the way down at the back there. Interior light, we put this nice big strip light in it makes this light up beautifully. So we have a TARDIS here on the dashboard because we're both Doctor Who fans. We have a panda head that would um, stars in our Instagram reels. You may have seen some of them. We do have our USBs. We've got USB here, we have a USB here and we have a USB here. We are USB insane in this vehicle because we want to charge loads of different things all the time. We also have a swivel seat for the driver and a swivel seat for the passenger. Underneath the passenger seat also, we've got the diesel heater. Moving on to Sandy. I think this swivel seat has to be one of my favorite features of the van, to be honest with you. It actually transforms this space and makes it so much bigger. But anyway, um, <laughs> The main function of this little area, actually it's a dual function area, is our office. Now we have a Samsung smart monitor. I went with a actual monitor rather than a TV because, you know, I, I want to be able to edit on it and I don't want it to hurt my eyes. So having a monitor instead actually prevents that. Um, we have the TV on an Ergotron TV arm. Um, we'll, tell a bit, we'll tell you a bit more about that in the following video because um, we did a bit of research on that. It's quite heavy, but uh, does its job really well. We can maneuver around and yeah, it's pretty ergonomic. Uh, we have a Lagoon table also. It's not the actual Lagoon table. It's actually a cheaper version. Again, in the next video, we'll talk about that. That brings us on to the other function of this little area. So we've created this little storage area at the front. Originally we had a little nook area, so we had a seat there to look out the door, but it didn't work out. We just found that we needed this that extra bit of storage. So we continued our IKEA cabinets down the front here. And I normally, normally I have clothes in here, but we're actually packing for a trip at the moment. So stick around guys and click the notification bell so you can find out when, where we're going and it's gonna be exciting. But anyway, back to the van tour. So yeah, normally my clothes are in here, underwear is in this little insert, so it's actually quite cute IKEA cabinets. And at the bottom here we have quick grab items. So toilet paper, because our toilets is there, we have our rain jackets, we have our outdoor gas cooker, our little tiny clothesline, dustpan and brush, all that general stuff you need to grab quickly. Moving on to more storage. We do have this over cab storage. It actually, when we bought the van, it was, we didn't have anything there. And we really loved the space it created, but you know, storage is key. So Tim built this for extra storage. I'll just open it up so you can see. There's loads of room up there. It's created heaps of space for us. We've got our RV Wi-Fi out there as well, as you can see. And the front here is, this cupboard's actually held down by magnets and it's never flipped up. It's really good, it holds really well. This is actually blackboard paint. So we can write notes to each other or be a bit creative with the chore, which I don't have time at the moment, but I'll get there. And uh, Tim created a little love hut for me. All right guys, off camera Tim reminded me, I forgot a few things at the front here, so let's go. At the front, at the doorway here, we have our towel rack. It's actually a kitchen, a house kitchen wine rack that we've repurposed uh, for our towels. It keeps them out of the way. And 
we have our control panels. We have nothing in there. <laughs> this was our old internet we used to keep in here. We've got USBs, we've got our step control, all of our light switches for the main cab area. And, excuse the sock, this is our diesel heater. I have to have a sock, guys, because who can sleep with lights going in the fan? <laughs> okay, now we'll move on. Welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> Starting off in the kitchen, we'll just start from right to left here. Up here we have our keys, our general knickknacks and things that we want to hang up that we need quick access to as we come into the van. This is, <laughs> this this is, Pablo's. is Pablo's sombrero. <laughs> this is his hat. He does wear these hats. He's got his name on it. It's got Pablo on it. Anyway, yeah. we should we'll be roll with that anyway. <laughs> These are our light switches. We have so many lights in this van. We'll show you what they look like, but there is a light for a different mood, for a different area in the van all day long in this vehicle. Um, moving on to this here, we, this is our chalkboard for lists of things to fix. I've actually done all of these. Um, behind that is just a, the water tank gauge that comes up there, a USB and a fuse panel. That's just for general things here. Coming along here, this was originally rattan. Oh we did not my like it. Days. So we've moved to there. We've repurposed some cushions, some cushion covers, and put this on and made the door and backed it. Um, just in here, in general, we've got our toiletries. It's, um, there's not as much stuff in here as we normally have because we're actually packing at the moment and we're in a house, so some of the stuff's come out. Um, we just generally have our coffee making stuff in this side and our medical equipment. Um, gas struts and latches from RV Labs as well as the latches down here on the door. On all, all our drawers have the RV Lab latches which are pretty good. They look nice as well. Under the sink we've got our just your general under sink stuff, your washing up liquid, your spray bottle for Pablo's behaviour problems, <laughs> our little pop-up kettle. Um, in here we've got a Bin. Maybe you should have tied up the drawers. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. It's real van life. That's what we're trying to show you here. Um, we've got a bin I just polished for the worktops. These are the solid wood worktops. This is Tasmanian oak, if you want to know that. <laughs> here we have a small pantry with an air fryer. Game changer. Yeah, that's pretty handy. That air fryer does a lot of work in this van. Mm -hmm. um, moving on to here, we do have another pantry that slides out here. Like we said, we should have really tidied it, but uh, <laughs> needs must. This drawer here, which will come open, something's moved inside here. Let me go. Right. One of the bowls have got caught up. Everything needs to be put in there a certain way. <laughs> yes. But, you know. Uh, we have the induction cooktop that runs off of the 240 volt inverter. That works really well in conjunction with our uh, air fryer. We've also got a cutlery drawer that comes out here and a normal drawer for other bits and bobs and again we've got our pots and pans and more pots and pans and frying pans Tupperware containers at the bottom there. Moving over to here we have our 240 volt sockets we have a power controller for the stove top and that also controls the hot water heater underneath it's switchable between the two so that we don't have to worry about leaving cookers on and heaters on. Over here we have a normal standard sink from IKEA. Um, we have filtered water that runs through a filter system. It comes through two filters before we can and um, it comes through here so that's drinkable for us. Uh, also we have a Scirocco fan which is pretty handy to have especially when you're cooking keeps a bit of ventilation on you and also at night we can have it on ourselves. Um, talking about ventilation with cooking we also got a max air fan, I'll turn this off because it keeps going up even higher. We have a max air fan above us here which is covered by this wonderful cupboard cover from living in a bubble. 
it's an insulated cover. These are pretty good actually, they, they block out a lot of light. And then we've got our Max Air fan here. Sorry about the noise. So that's this side of the van, over to Sandy for that side of the van. All right, I hope you don't mind me being behind the camera guys. It's just the best angle to show our full bathroom. So we have a total wet room in here. We have uh, a toilet and also a full shower. So all you have to do to have a shower is take out our toilet, the towels and yeah, full shower. Um, it also, well, let me just come around here. Oh. We also have a Max Air ventilation fan in here. You would just pop it up when you're having a shower and there's a little button here to put on the uh, fan, but I won't do that because it's quite noisy. <laughs> but all of our black features, we have hooks. Guys, hooks, hooks for your van. <laughs> I, that's all I'll say about that. This back splash we got from Bunnings. It was quite expensive to, from memory, um, but it doesn't look nice. <laughs> <laughs> We've also put suction cups on the back here for all our shower stuff and I think that's about it. Oh, oh, I cannot forget the shower door. Let me get Tim to help me with this. And room shower. How cool is that? And it's self-cleaning. Now we've moved on to this section that we, I must apologize for the light. We've just... It's just started raining, so we've lost all our bright light we had just before. Never mind, we'll continue on. So Tim, when he was building our van, actually gave me a hanging cupboard for our clothes. And I was very excited about this. And funnily enough, this door we found, we, we didn't actually plan this, but this door is exactly the right measurements for this cupboard. Stoked, because it, it flows on and gives us our nice glossy finish. And of course, I've got mirrors, these nice hexagon mirrors. They're in fashion at the moment, you know? Anyway, I'll show you inside. This brings us to our sticker wall. If you have a sticker, guys, send it to us. We'll do a sticker swap with you. Let us know in the comments. But yes, as you can see in here, again, we should have tidied. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's real life. But yeah, we've got our, I've got a shoe rack in here, hanging clothes. We have a lint roller because, you know, we have a chihuahua. We've got a chihuahua who shares your room. <laughs> and this is where we keep also our awning. Um, Coloradera. What is it called? <laughs> <laughs> the awning activation device. Yes. It's a handle. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Now, I can't say enough about the fridge we have in this van. We didn't do any research on this. It actually came with the van, which I'm grateful for. It's a Vitafrigo Slim 150. And my favorite feature, I have to say before I open it and show you, is the sliding drawer for our drinks or whatever you need, really. It just does you don't have to open the front fridge door and let all the heat in and the coldness out if you just want to get a drink. So totally love it. And there's heaps of room. Let's go inside. Okay. So, sorry, we've got it off at the moment, and yes, we do actually eat. <laughs> Again, we're going on a trip soon, so that's why it's a little bit empty. But check out the space in here. Not only all that fridge space, but look at this freezer. Loads and loads of room, which helps us on the road heaps. And if you look just above the fridge, we have the IKEA spice rack that every van lifer must have. <laughs> Now in our van, we do have a dedicated space for our laundry. It was for everything that I've heard about building a van. The one thing or the one thing that everyone had in common was you must have somewhere to pull your laundry because if you don't, you can have everything on the floor. And I am guilty of some of that. Um, but this is something that we've built in, pops open. We have laundry space in here and also opens at the front, really handy.
We've been in this van for over 200 days now and we actually found that storage is a big thing when you're living full time on the road. In the back here we have Sandy side. There's not much in here at the moment obviously because we're offering it on the trip. That's her knickknacks, bits and bobs and stuff like that. Mirroring on that side, the, this side is my drawer. I've got other stuff in here. We've got a little rice cooker in here as well, which is handy. And my knickknack drawer, which needs to be tidied out. We've also got a little bit of hidden storage down here. This is where we keep our fences for Pablo and our fire pit in there. 240 volt sockets there, our map of Australia where we we're gonna end up touring. And also down here, we have this bottom drawer here. This is where all our tech stuff is, all our cables, our batteries, our chargers, and our cameras. The cameras aren't in there at the moment because we're filming you on them. And then moving on to this side is our battery cupboard. So this door is held on with magnets, doesn't come loose, it's perfect for that. So in here we have our 340 amp hour lithium battery that runs all of our 12 volt and it runs our 3000 watt inverter that runs all our 240 volts. We also got um, shore power and we can charge the battery via shore power via the alternator because we have a high power in, a high output alternator for when we're driving and we've also got 800 watts of solar on the roof and that's pretty much it and we can monitor it with this smart shut. Now this has got to be one of my favorite areas in the van. We changed it a couple of times. The first time we had a long bench at the side there and we found, we found that it just didn't work for what we needed it for. So what we want it for is to be able to open our doors, both sit with a beverage of choice and uh, enjoy the view. Oh, moving on. So at the back here we do have, it is actually functional, we have an air conditioning unit under this bench seat and we also have extra storage under here. So not only can we use it for looking at nice views and actually going to the cinema as well, like drive-in cinemas, <laughs> we can actually have a lagoon table, we've got a little um, lagoon table mount here that we can put here and we can have dinner together or edit because a lot of the time, Tim and I share our editing, so there's one at the front and there's one sitting at the back, just getting all this footage out for you. One of the things we forgot to mention on the way through the cab area was our lovely wallpaper murals. It's not something that you see often in van builds, but we just wanted a, something a little bit different. And I think it gives that little personal touch to our van. So we've got it in the back here in the lounge area and we've also had it in the front in the cab area. So I really like it. and. Speaking of walls, I think Tim mi missed the kitchen tiles. They're actually not real, they are stick-on tiles. Behind me, as you can see, there's a variety of controls. <laughs> so I'll just show you what they do. Well, I'll tell you what they do. So these um, obviously control our light switches. We have USB for charging our phones at night. Um, our 240 volt socket. This I'll get into a little bit later. This is our Truma Sapphire control and our lovely plant from Ikea. <laughs> and on the other side, yes, we have different controls on this side. We have a light switch for the main cab. We have our dimmable lights for the main lounge area. You know, you have lovely lighting in here. <laughs> we have our max air fan control. And we also have a temperature control that shows us, you know, what the temperature is outside and what it is inside. And I think it actually shows us the fridge as well. Down here we have, as Tim mentioned earlier, we have our stereo system in the van hooked up to the back here. And it really gives a nice ambient feel when you've got music playing, so it's not blaring in the front, it's also nice and peaceful in the back. All right guys, come in, come in, come in to the back door. So at the back here we have a nice outdoor table which is good for cooking and to put our popcorn on when we're watching movies in the drive-in theater. <laughs> Let me just put that back out. So these window coverings, complete game changer. They have blackouts. 
love them. We have them on the back here. We also have them on the windows inside the lounge area. But they're not only just blackouts. They have fire screens on them. Which doesn't work well on the back because they don't open. But they do work well on the interior ones. But coming over to this side. This side is similar with the wood paneling. And we have uh, created some storage in the back here to keep random items. We have an umbrella here ready for the... As I said before, it's going to rain. <laughs> we also keep Pablo's netting. Now, Pablo may jump out of here, so we've got him netted in at times just so he doesn't um, jump down and bark at other dogs and etc. But I also wanted to mention we have lovely wood panelling all the way down our van, white wood panelling, which I don't know if that's a mistake or not yet because we, we do wipe it a lot wipe it a lot but I think it looks pretty and it is not overweight I can hear you we've weighed it and it's under I think that wraps us up. Oh, hang on a second. I haven't shown you where we sleep. That's right, we have a lift bed. Welcome to our bedroom. Now, I absolutely love our lift bed. It took me a little while to convince Tim actually, because we were gonna do one of those convertible ones where you have the lounge on the stairs and you have to convert the cushions to a bed and make the bed every day. But we actually discovered that a lift bed isn't all that dear. If you are interested in something like this, we have a link below that you can use to go check it out. Look, this doubles our living space with no effort at all. In fact, just a push of a button. And we actually call it our downstairs area and our upstairs area. It's so good though, because there's so much light up here guys. We have access to the windows because we've actually planned it so the windows can be used from the bedroom or the upstairs as well as the downstairs. So up here we also have a skylight which I absolutely love. Not only is it good for letting the beautiful sunlight in in the morning but at night time you can open it and stare at the stars as long as it's not raining obviously. <laughs> there is a blackout on here as well and screens. I absolutely love this space. So I hope you guys enjoyed our van tour. Now remember that that is not all of it. Next week there will be a continuation video showing you exactly what everything is and how much this van build cost. Especially, so, especially if you want to know about lift beds etc yes. that you know you might be wondering about putting in your own van. <laughs> There is a link below if you're interested. But thank you for coming along. We appreciate you turning up and watching our video. If you like our channel and like our style, please like and subscribe and always leave a comment, I suppose. Yes. And if you like a sticker, let us know and we'll send you a sticker. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye for now. Bye.